Okay, that was me trying to get a good thumbnail. Infectious. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Cameron Nache, and I'm back with another video, man. If you new to my channel, what's up? If you already been here, what's good, gang? What's good, gang? All right, y'all, so I'm back with another video. Today's video is how to keep a journal or how to how to start keeping a journal, how to keep a journal, tips on, write, on writing in a journal, all of that good stuff. We're going to talk about that today in the video. So let's get into it. Okay, so this right here is my journal i started writing in this journal january 2020 so i'm not gonna get into what's in my journal today but i was just letting you guys know that i have a journal i've done this so i'm letting y'all know tips and tricks to be able to you know start writing in a journal so why even why even write in a journal they like people are like why are you writing a journal why you do that what's the point of that I can remember the stuff that I did. Okay, yes, you do. But writing in a journal just allows you to record your daily progress. So it allows you to write down anything that you did that day or experienced that day, and you can go back and reread that like the next day. So let's say you had a bad day on Monday, Tuesday you had a good day, and it's Wednesday now, you went back and read Monday to see how you was feeling on Monday. You're like, dang, I was really mad on Monday. That's really how I felt on Monday. That's kind of what the journal do, do allows for you. It just allows for you to read like your daily progress from day to day. Okay. Also, two. The second reason why you should write in a journal is because it allows you to reread and see your wins and your losses. So nobody likes taking L's. I don't even like taking L's, but we all take L's. That's how you learn. You learn from the lessons, you learn from the mistakes, you learn from, the, you learn. So writing in your journal, the stuff like your strengths and your weaknesses and your accomplishments and your like losses or your lessons, all of those things recorded down when you reread back over those, like the notes that you took or you journaled that day, you can reflect on that and you can make a better decision now in the present moment based on like the decisions and the actions that you made in the past. The third reason why you should journal. You should journal because it records your daily insights. Every day you learn more. Every day you learn something new. So your journal can record that for you. Your journal can record anything that you learned, any um, people that you met, interacted with, experiences that was like that just stuck out to you or like moments that happen throughout the day that you just want to like remember the details of it you can jot those things down and those be like your daily insights for like whatever happened that day the fourth reason why you should journal journaling helps to help you record your gratitude we all know sometimes we fail to show gratitude but we should show gratitude every day when you record your gratitude in your journal every day it heightens like your blessings and your mindsets because you're manifesting it, you're speaking it, you're being positive. It's like when you show that you have gratitude, it allows you to be thankful for what you have so that anything that comes along, you'll be even more grateful for it because you already show gratitude for what you have now. So writing in your journal just helps you to show that you're thankful for everything that you have. If you don't actually say it to somebody or tell people how you feel, your journal is a space for you to tell you because your journal should be private. That's a tip. Tip number one, your journal should be private. Nobody else should read your journal but you. Your journal is your place where you can just pour your heart out. You don't, you're not supposed to lie in your journal because that's between you and you. Why would you lie to yourself? You shouldn't lie to yourself. You gotta be truthful. The one person you should be truthful with is yourself if you choose to be truthful with anybody. So tip number one, your, your journal should be private. Only you should read it. So whenever you do decide to get a journal, because after this video, it's no reason why you shouldn't have no journal. Make sure that it's between you and you. Find somewhere to put it that, you know, nobody can find. That's what I was saying about gratitude. Gratitude is important. Like, I can't stress enough how important gratitude is because you can't, you can't 
be appreciative for more and more things that you get if you're not already appreciative for the stuff that you have now. It just won't work that way. You will never be satisfied. You will never be grateful for anything. Most of us have clean, like, have food, clean water, fresh air, people who love us, like, a roof over our head. Those are all things we can show gratitude for. Those are all blessings. Everybody's not as blessed to have those things as you, like, to have those same things as you. So, like, you should show gratitude for the things that you have because everybody is not as privileged. People tend to get upset at little things like the traffic being, like, too heavy traffic or get angry because they got into a heated conversation with somebody over the internet. That stuff is not worth it. If you show your gratitude, that stuff will not affect you. Just show gratitude. A problem is only a problem if you choose to see it as a problem. And that's facts. The fifth reason why you should journal. Journaling, journaling allows you to spill your thoughts from out your head onto a piece of paper. So all the things that you think throughout the day, like the crazy thoughts that you have, the ideas that you have, you can just spill all of that out into paper and that allows space for creativity. We all know that you need creativity to create new inventions, new ideas, new concepts, new innovations. You need creativity for that. You cannot have creativity if you have all of these thoughts just bottled up in your head with nowhere to go, congested, you feel like you can't think write in a journal get it out get it out get it out get it out get it all out let it all out put it on the paper let it go get it out <sighs> get it out and once you do that and you write down how you felt for the day your mind so full of worry and just frustrated after you get it out onto your piece of paper now you have created space for creativity to present itself. Now, that's just, I cannot. Once you do that, then your mom's just gonna blossom into something great because like, how could it not? You have all this uh, free range now to come up with new ideas that you didn't have before. And so this will also put you in a healthier mindset. When you write down your thoughts, um, it, it put ease to your mind. Um, you can let go of worry and relax. Get your mind into what um, scientists call like an alpha state where you have maximum creativity. This is the point where you want to get to and journaling can help you get there. Number six, I kind of already mentioned this one, but journaling helps you release your worries, your fears, your anxiety, anything that scares you. You can write about this in your journal because your journal is between you and you, you and you. That's it. So, like, nobody, like, it's between you and you. So, you could put, pour your heart out. Okay, now that I've told y'all, um, like, the different reasons why you should have a journal, let me tell you some tips on if you decide to start journaling. Number one. Well, actually, this is number two. Number one was keep it private. And I meant that. Keep your journal private. It's yours. Don't let nobody else take that from you. Number two. Date it. Date every entry. Even if you do not write in your journal every day, you want to date it. Because you don't want to be writing down how you feel every day for a month and you go back and look. And you don't even know how you was feeling on one day. I mean, it's cool. Like, yeah, you know how you was feeling, but you can't put it into context. So it's pointless. So what I'm saying is date. Always date the days that you write. The days that you decide to just write in a journal, on a piece of paper, on a sticky note, a scrap paper, date it. Date it, date it, date it. Tip number three, just write. It's no right or wrong way to write a journal. It's how you want to write a journal. And it's a lot of different types of journals out there. Like my journal, this journal, it's a plain journal. It's just pages. But you can get journals that's guided, that have like goals and have like different like things that you want to accomplish within a time frame, like, or like, there's like a lot of different types of journals that you can buy. I personally just like plain journals because I could just write anything. There's no limits on what I could put in there. The fourth tip, be truthful. You got to be truthful on everything that you do, especially if you decide to do something like a journal. Because this is for you to be able to reflect back on. 
whenever you feel down or even when you up or even when you're trying to learn or even when you just want some like some old wisdom from yourself you can look back in your journal and just reread how you felt at this time how did you handle this situation how can you handle the situation now did you handle the situation well then like you can ask yourself all these questions to be able to analyze and make the best decision for you now so you won't make the same mistakes that you made then the fifth tip is there's no rules you don't need no validation from nobody. There's no rules to how you do it. There's no right or wrong. Nobody can tell you that you can't do it. Like, you don't even need a journal to write a journal. You could just have a pack of loose leaf paper, and whenever you feel like writing, you just take out a sheet and just write. And you don't even have to keep it. You could burn it after. Sometimes you don't want to know what how you feel. Sometimes you just want to let it out and just let it be. And that's also a form of journaling. So when I say that you can do... You, when you journal, journal for you. Not because you feel like it's going to help you, even though it will, or not because you feel like it's, it's just the only way. But I feel like the only way you know if something works for you is if you try it. And I tried it. I journaled my whole year. I did not know that I was going to go through the stuff that I went through this year. But it's in this journal. It's in this journal. If y'all want to know... Some of the dates and some of the stuff that I wrote in my journal, comment down below and I can make another video reading some of the dates on my journal. Uh, if y'all like this video, like, comment, subscribe, and I'm out.